Good morning. Um, today I want to show you how to do circular dichroism. So this is a method to find out if your protein is alpha helical, um, beta sheet, or disordered. So it's very useful and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Yes, yeah, so if your protein is alpha helical, you will get the blue curve, you get two distinct peaks here, and if it is beta sheet, you get just one peak at 218 nanometer, and it looks like this, and a random coil, it looks completely different, so yeah. First thing that you have to do is to supply the instrument with nitrogen gas, so we first open this yeah, and always make sure there is enough nitrogen gas so yeah, it would be pretty bad for the light source if you run out of nitrogen then you want to wait a couple of minutes so that the instrument becomes fully like filled with nitrogen gas and also make sure this is about 20-ish. So yeah. After a few minutes, you can turn on the instrument. The key is usually here. Then you can load the software depending on your particular type of CD. So this one, for just a typical measurement, we select spectra measurement. And it just um, it will initialize the instrument. And just to make sure that the instrument is filled, with nitrogen gas it has like this built-in time so if you already purged you can skip it but I usually just wait this time so yeah it will be happy so the cubet that is used for CD looks like this um, first you have to make sure that you clean it well with ethanol and then water so this is what I'm going to do right now, and then I'll be back. So after you clean the cubette, you want to take a gel loading tip that's very thin, and then take your sample. I think, yeah, you need about 150 microliters. Actually, 200. Try not to touch the front, the back hold it from the sides. And gently put it in. Make sure it's completely closed. Then you can choose the wavelengths read that you want. Usually it goes from 
180 no 190 to 250 so this is a good range and usually it is just what everyone does and it's good to do three reads and then so yeah just today we're doing a simple measurement so I'm just gonna select sample measurement I don't need a baseline now select cell one because uh, that's the only one I have sample in then it's gonna start when it reaches 25 but I don't really care about the temperature so I'll start it and yeah this is the moment of truth see if you have alpha helical beta sheet or random coil today's sample is a protein bound to lipid which forms a nano disc and I expect alpha helical and immediately I can see that this is what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get an alpha helical shape for my CD so yeah I'm very happy right now and then next I'm gonna add something else to my sample and see if the secondary structure will change if I'm gonna get fibrillization and if I'm able to see beta sheet formation so yeah this is my experiment for today and I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial let me know if you have any questions in the comments and yeah see you in the next video forgot to show the end this is a perfect perfect alpha helical structure if you have some salt in your buffer you will see some lines going like this here so the solution to that is just dialyze your sample in a low salt buffer and yeah that's it thank you bye